Hello and welcome. In this video, we are going to learn about how to scrape websites with RoboMotion Web Recorder. We will scrape products from the AppSumo Ending Soon page and then enter the products into our Google Sheets. Let's begin by adding an inject node to our flow. Right click, select inject, and then rename it to start. We will use the Google Sheets package in our flow. If it is not installed, you can click the packages icon right next to the search box. Then find the Google Sheets package, right click and install. Drag and drop the open spreadsheet node from the nodes palette on the left and then connect it to the inject node. For the spreadsheet URL, open your Google Sheets page and then copy paste the URL from the address bar. For the service account, select the service account you have created in the Google console as described in the previous videos. You can find a link to our document in the YouTube video description. From the service account page, you need to copy the service account email and then share the spreadsheet with that email, assigning the editor role so it can be updated. Now the service account has the permission to modify this spreadsheet. Let's continue with our web recorder. If it is not installed, you can go to the Chrome Web Store, search for RoboMotion, and install the web recorder. Click the recorder, and then click the Start Recorder button. Now, if you refresh this page and then scroll down slowly, you will observe that as you scroll through the page, it continuously updates by downloading and adding new products. Once you reach the bottom of the page, all product data will be downloaded. So to scrape all the products, we first need to scroll down to the bottom of the page. And we can do this with our web recorder. In the web recorder, you will see tabs starting with the main tab on the left side. These will be converted into subflows that contain the recorded steps. So let's start by renaming this main tab to scroll bottom that will hold our scroll steps. And then add another one and rename it to scrape. Now in the scroll bottom tab, click the auto event capture toggle switch that will auto record our scroll events. Click the record button to begin the recording. Then position your mouse directly over the scroll bar on the right-hand side of the screen. Start scrolling gradually, making sure to move at a slow pace. It's important to pause every now and then to ensure that the scrolling actions are recognized as distinct steps rather than merging into a single long scroll step. Continue doing this until you reach the very bottom of the web page. After reaching the bottom, turn off the auto event capture toggle switch. Then we can continue with the actual scraping steps. In this page, we want to start scraping the image links, the product names, and then the description, and also the reviews and the prices. Start by right-clicking to the image, go to the Get Value option, and click the Source attribute to select. Then repeat this with the next product. The web recorder will detect when you are trying to scrape a list. When asked, confirm it. And then let's continue with the product name. Repeat the same steps for the product name. Web Recorder is recording all these steps. Then move on to the description. And then the reviews. Finally, the price. Now click this edit icon, and from the list, click here. We can see that the products are scraped. We can rename this to image. Let's update all the columns here with the correct names.
click the Save button, close the window, and then click Finish. The recording session will return to the Flow Designer, adding all the recorded steps as a subflow. You can rename this subflow to AppSumo Ending Soon for better readability of the included steps. Now connect the Open Spreadsheet node to the generated subflow, and then let's check inside the subflow by double-clicking. As you can see, we have the scroll bottom subflow here. If we check inside, we can see the open browser and open link nodes added, as well as run scripts for the scrolling steps. For the scrape subflow, the recorder used the scrape list node. The output of the scrape list node is a table. We will use this to add the data to our spreadsheet. Now let's add a set range node. Make sure to add from the Google Sheets package instead of from another package. Our table has columns with names, so we need to check the headers option here, and then we can place a stop node to our flow. Now we can run our flow. Let's switch to the spreadsheet. The products are added to our sheet as expected. Thank you for watching.